Now, I got to talk about this before I get dropped off the air. All right. I'm sure this will make a lot of people really happy, but whatever. On the debut edition of his FTR podcast that launches Wednesday, FTR's Dax Harwood went deep into the AW situation between CM Punk, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, which included a plea to all parties to work things out for the betterment of the business. Okay? He said he isn't sure if Punk will ever return to AEW, but hopes that he does, as he wants a locker room that the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and Punk are all a part of. He made a plea to all four men involved to, quote, please find a way to make it work to better the future of the business. Quote, if we can make it work, we can set up the future of professional wrestling for a long time, and we can change the course of professional wrestling for a very long time. When you think about it, unselfishly, we are doing this for wrestlers 20 to 30 years down the road so guys and girls can make a living. And then he talked about a bunch of other stuff as well, and we can talk about that later. But, you know, I saw a lot of feedback from uh, from fans, and they're like, yeah, they got to figure out a way to make this work. Now listen to me, everybody. I know that no matter what I say, people are going to get mad at me, okay? And that's fine, whatever. I don't care. But I'm going to try to tell you... I'm just trying to explain something to you guys, okay? Because I don't think a lot of you get it. And this is no... I, everything I'm about to say, there is zero inside information. All of this has come out publicly, including comments from individuals involved, okay? What nobody disagrees about. And to this day, even when, you know, it came out that, uh, what was the story about uh, Larry? Like Larry was in danger, something like that. Whatever that story was that came out, I don't remember. Kenny Omega but the point is, saved him and took him away? No, there was something that came out the the, uh, the day the Young Bucks came back. There was uh, something about Larry. But anyway, here's the, here's the point. Even when more information came out later, okay, Still nobody disputed the following facts, okay? Nobody disputes this. Nobody disputes that CM Punk threw the first punch. He punched Matt Jackson. Nobody disputes this. Nobody disputes that there was a wild locker room brawl. Nobody disputes that a chair was thrown and hit Nick Jackson in the head, and nobody disputes that Kenny Omega was bitten by a human being, okay? Nobody disputes all of these things. Now, I'm not here to tell you why CM Punk threw the first punch. I don't know. I'm not here to tell you why the Young Bucks, one of them got hit in the head with a chair, one of them got punched, I'm not going to tell you why Kenny Omega got bit, okay? All of that is, you know, this this side will claim one thing, and this side will claim the other thing, right? But what we do know is that CM Punk punched Matt Jackson, Nick Jax, Jackson got hit with a flying chair, and Kenny Omega got bit, okay? Now, I know many of you... Right now, what I'm going to do... But he's to going do. to be facing Shibata in nine hours. <laughs> nine Pacific Tuesday night, which would be tonight. Tanahashi on commentary. I look at this as one big angle alert, or at least I'd like to look at it as one big angle alert, where oh, no. right after that filthy... T <laughs> hey, Mike, are you still there? I'm here. I'm here. Brian's right, yeah, here, you too. Take it. T t take it. Take it. All right. You know, in some ways, I'm glad I can't. You know, in some ways, I'm glad that this show has gone the way it's gone so far today. I believe Brian may be back right now. I'm not sure. Right now, I believe he's just staring off into the distance right now. Yep, there he goes. Not happy. Not happy at all. But, as he was saying, CM Punk hit by Matt Jackson. Nick Jackson was hit with a chair. And, and Kenny Omega was bit by a human, not by Punk's dog Larry, who may or may not have lost a tooth and all the shenanigans that went on that night after All Out. But I believe what Brian may have been getting to, and I certainly can't speak for the man, it may be that with all of that stuff that went down, with everything that took place, with Mega being right there, second in command, head of legal, with all of that stuff, with everything that he said at the press conference, 
even though it may be for the best of wrestling in the mind of Dax Harwood, it probably ain't going to happen. And it probably won't be the best thing for pro wrestling. Well, for pro wrestling fans who like drama, certainly it'll be good for them. But it may not be good for AEW if you were to bring CM Punk back. But I don't know. That's just a guess by me on, on what Brian may be, may be thinking about this whole thing. Hopefully, when we get back from break, we're going to have some idea of what is taking place inside the head of Brian's mind right now. With expletives hopefully included. We'll be back. Wrestling Observer Live. Hi, everybody. Hi, boys. Yeah, I'm back. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep doing this the entire show because I refuse to quit. Now, shall I get to my point? Yes. My long-winded point. If I hadn't talked about... Anyway. Okay. All of you listening to this right now, you all have a job, I hope. Actually, maybe many of you on the YouTube chat don't because it's free. But the point is... So uh, let's say that you uh, work at a restaurant, okay? I'm just going to make something simple that everyone understands. You work at a restaurant, and uh, one of the cooks there, he gets really angry about something, and he cuts a promo on everybody, okay? He's he's a chef, and he cuts a promo on everybody, and he's real mad. And then he gets it off his chest, and, you know, he goes, my uh, my door to the galley is always open, okay? So uh, you, dear listener, and uh, a couple of your friends— and uh, by coincidence, the head of legal of the of the restaurant, you go to talk to this guy, this cook, and uh, this dude punches you, and then a wild brawl breaks out in the kitchen, and uh, and one of your friends gets hit with a, a flying pan to the head, and then uh, your other friend gets he gets bit, okay, and uh, then then. The the restaurant goes, well, you know, you're all suspended indefinitely while we do an investigation. You get sent home, and then uh, one, of, one of your friends, whose name, by the way, is Matt Jackson, he does a, uh, a video uh, vlog after he comes back, and he calls this two months, and this is a direct quote from BTE, the worst two months of his life, not his career, the worst two months of his life, and he notes that it was the same for his brother. It was the worst two months of his life, okay? And then you uh, you go back, and, uh, you know, everyone goes, I, th- I think you should work with his chef again. He's a real good cook. They're not going to work together, everybody. They're not going to work together. There was an attack. There was a wild brawl. There was a suspension that two of the individuals involved said were the worst two months of their entire life where nobody communicated with anybody. Nobody called them. Nobody gave them an update. Nobody told them anything during this period. They didn't know if they were ever going to come back to work again. They were completely erased from the show. And you guys think... That they're going to go, you know what would be great is if we did a storyline with CM Punk. This is no inside information, everybody. I'm just going to tell you right now, they're not going to work together. They're not going to do a storyline. Why are we still talking about this? Am I still on? I don't know. I was starting to wonder there for a second. Very nervous now. I like the way I got and he got cut through all that and was more concise about it. But yeah, it ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen for either side. And look, the bottom line is AEW starting up is good for professional wrestling right now. I get what Dax is saying, and Dax, look, he likes a lot of people in that locker room. He's also obviously friends with CM Punk. He's kind of in the middle on this right now. You know, he brought up other things on the show, you know, Cole Cabana making fun of his accent, which apparently bothered him. Uh, one question for me, though, is for everybody that's in the chat, uh, not the, in the YouTube chat right now, but our Twitch chat. When did Dax begin being referred to as just bald or FTR bald? And in that case, uh, on Twitter and, and social media sites, and in that case, what does that make cash? Is he FTR hair or do you have another nickname for him? Because I'm I don't know. And, and that's not I'm very nice. Loop. I'm, out of the I, loop, I, I'm not saying anything negative about Dax. I'm, Dax has every right. You did. 
I'm sure that Dax would Maybe love to have all again. of these guys working together in the locker room. My point is I've heard from a lot of people who've heard this podcast saying they should work this out. They should get it back together. And I'm telling you people that you live, you actually live in fantasy land, not the wrestlers. The That's wrestlers true. are living in real life. That's true. But there's also the people that have been led astray who may actually honestly be thinking out there as fans well doesn't controversy create cash isn't this what we do back in the old days couldn't they make a lot of money out of this and you know what the answer to all that is yes yes you could but you know what it's not beneficial to anybody i don't think at this point cm punk or his blood pressure or his future the young bucks for their blood pressure and their future and their standing as vps i don't think they they would have anything to do with this and again all the other moving parts including legal who would probably look at this whole situation and go hey, if we can't buy him out, let's just let the thing go and like let's move on. And I think a lot of people should probably move on. But you know what? Much like Montreal is still talked about, 25, 30, whatever the hell years later it is, people are going to be talking about this probably forever. The hey. WWE legendary hey, joke, joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. <laughs> Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> what? You said Gramazon. No, I said Glamazon. <laughs> oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, like, puppy you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.